I bet you heard about fancy VPNs that the internet keeps raving about. But did you know that you can make your own VPN to secure your internet connection and protect your online privacy? That's right. Today, I'll be showing you just how to do that. So stay tuned as we're about to make you a proud owner of your very own personal VPN. Setting up your own virtual private network will give you control over your online privacy and security. But why not just subscribe to a VPN service? Well, despite the best efforts by VPN companies, data breaches and privacy invasions still happen. In the case of many of these breaches, the incident won't be found out for a while, and that's long enough for your data to become public. Essentially, once you have your own VPN set up, you're not just adding another layer of security. No, no, no. You're customizing that layer to your specific needs. Unlike commercial VPNs where you share the servers with countless others, a personal VPN only has you as the single user. This drastically reduces the risk of data leaks and ensures that a malicious party can't access your internet traffic. It also means complete control over your data. With a VPN service, you're entrusting this data to a third party. This can lead to privacy concerns, especially if you're working with sensitive information. With a personal VPN, you know exactly where your data is and who has access to it. The open source nature of Linux makes it a powerful tool for customization. You can configure your server to your heart's content and you won't have to dance around any data limits or wait in line for a connection. In addition, Linux servers are renowned for their stability and reliability. They're designed to handle processes efficiently and can run for long periods without the need for a reboot. Linux also has powerful firewall options and offers regular updates, making it that much tougher to crack for cyber criminals. And finally, most of the Linux distributions are free, which will reduce the cost of setting up a VPN. Without out of the way, let's learn how to set one up using OpenVPN. Let's start off by installing OpenVPN on our Linux server. For this tutorial, I'll be using Hostinger's VPS for its reliability and ease of use. And for you Hostinger fans out there, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on those notifications so you won't miss out on any sweet new tutorials that we post every single week. All right, now to install OpenVPN, here's what you gotta do. First things first, we need to buy a VPS hosting plan. Head to Hostinger.com, navigate to Hosting and select VPS Hosting. Or better yet, click the link in the description below the video and you'll be taken directly to where you need to go. Click Add to Cart next to the VPS hosting plan you want. For this example, I'll be using the KVM2 plan. It includes plenty of resources and we can easily scale up if we plan to expand our user base later. Add your chosen plan to the cart and opt for the 24 month subscription plan for the best deal. Continue with the checkout process by creating a new hosting or account or logging in with your Google account. Then scroll down to pick your preferred payment method. Don't forget to apply the coupon code VPS10 for an extra 10% discount. Finally, click this button to secure your hosting plan. Now that we've got a hosting VPS plan, we can set up a Linux VPN server in a single click by using a template. With Hostinger, you have access to plenty of VPS templates, one of which is the Ubuntu 22.04 64-bit with OpenVPN template. This is perfect for us, but do know that for other distributions, you'll have to set things up separately using commands. If this is a fresh hosting or VPS account, simply finish the onboarding and choose the template. If you already had an OS installed though, you'll need to take some extra steps. First off, make sure to create a backup as this process will overwrite the existing one. Next, locate the template in HPanel and choose the server where you want to install OpenVPN. Then, navigate to the operating system menu under OS and templates. Click applications, select the template you want and hit change OS. Now, just create a panel password and wait until the process is complete. This should take only a few minutes, but it's worth noting that you can access or modify your server during it. Once that's done, let's set the OpenVPN account. Having configured the server, it's time to set up the OpenVPN account. In this video, I'll be using the free version of OpenVPN, which only allows up to two concurrent connections. If you need more, you'll need to sign up for a paid plan. Now, let's open the admin URL using your VPS IP address with a 943 port and slash admin subdomain. For an easier process, just click this link on HPanel's VPS page. As per instruction, enter OpenVPN here and type the password you set earlier. Hit sign in. 
If you see a private connection warning, that's because your VPS doesn't have any SSL certificates yet. You can install one later from the OpenVPN admin panel. I've also linked the documentation in the description below if you need a guide for that. For now, just continue proceeding to the site. Once logged in, you'll see a terms and conditions page. Read it through and press agree to proceed. Next, you'll see the OpenVPN configuration details and the server status. Click this button on the admin panel until the VPN service status shows on. If it's already on, leave it as it is. Once that's done, we're off to the next step. Now we need to change the VPN routing. From the OpenVPN admin dashboard, navigate to VPN settings. Then scroll down to the routing section and set this option to no. Leave the other two routing options as yes. Next, ensure this option is enabled to avoid potential DNS leaks. Save the new settings and click Update Running Server. Then go back to the Status tab. Click Stop and then start again to reboot the OpenVPN server. Now that the server is running, let's connect some devices to it. At this point, you've successfully created your own VPN. All we have to do now is connect our devices to secure them. While you can connect to many different operating systems, I'll show you how to do it using Windows and Mac OS for now. If you're using something else, the process is still pretty similar, so just follow along. First, enter the OpenVPN client URL or simply access it from your VPS dashboard. Now, pay attention here as we're entering the client side interface, not the admin as we did before. For Windows, choose the Windows version of the client and run the installation. You'll see a prompt once everything is done. Enter your OpenVPN username and password in the field. Then you can run OpenVPN from the Windows taskbar to disconnect, reconnect, and view the connection status. If you're a Mac OS user, the process is basically the same. Access the OpenVPN client UI and download the software for Mac OS. Follow the setup wizard procedure to complete the installation, and then a new OpenVPN icon should appear on the Mac OS taskbar. Click the Connect To option. A pop-up will ask for your OpenVPN username and password, enter the credentials, click connect, and your VPN connection is now established. Simple as that. Next, let's learn how to manage your users. As mentioned earlier, you can allow up to two users with the free OpenVPN account. If you want more, you'll need to get a paid plan. To add and manage these users, open the admin dashboard and follow these steps. Navigate to user permissions under the user management menu. Create a new username in the required field. You can click more settings to edit configurations like the password and permissions. You can also configure auto login profiles, which will automatically route all non-local traffic via the VPN. To set that up, simply enable allow auto login on the profile you want to modify. Once you have everything set up, don't forget to save the new settings, then update running server again. At this point, you should be able to connect to the internet with your own VPN. Continue watching if you want to know how to test your server too. All right, first you can try to check whether your IPv4 address changes. I recommend accessing NordVPN's What is My IP to see if you're using the newly configured IP address. Next, go to dnsleaktest.com to check your OpenVPN server's IPv4 address. On the website, choose the extended list. The output should show the DNS resolver IPs for your client's device. In addition, ensure the traffic uses IPv4 protocol by navigating to test-ipv6.com. The tool should state that no IPv6 address was detected. With everything set up, it's time to put your new VPN to the test. Secure your connection and enjoy the freedom of a private internet. And that is how you set up your own personal VPN. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it with your friends so they know how to create a personal VPN too. We've got plenty more VPS tutorials planned, so subscribe and turn on your notifications to be the first to see them. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.